the most spectacular and scenic venue in all of college football and perhaps in all of sports. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, also home to the UCLA Bruins. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Minnesota Golden Gophers taking on the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Bruins will kick it off to get us underway. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Minnesota Golden Gophers offense is on the field for the first time today. This has an old school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, the old school because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention. But this guy's so good, he is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. The give to the tailback. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. To throw, it's Brosmer. Steps away. Going to try to get it himself. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. The Golden Gophers are marching down the field. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. The give on the inside. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. The seventh play of this opening drive. They'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll try to run for it. Hard running there. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back looking for room. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Looking to throw on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Spencer. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. They go to the ground. Keeps the legs moving. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it from the gun. And into the end zone. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So UCLA's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And there's no doubt, guys, we will be focused on these two star playmakers on the outside. I'm curious to see how much man coverage we're going to see today. I don't know if either of these defenses is confident enough to go mano a mano with these two dudes on the field. They're two of the best in the nation. These cornerbacks aren't looking for man-to-man -man coverage. I can promise you that. I'd be like, give me some help over here. But we're going to see some split screens, and we're going to see who had more catches, who had more yards. We're definitely going to be breaking that down this game. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. And the Bruins will hustle to the line. They'll throw on third and short, using the quick game. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. A completion good for the percentage, not good enough for the first down. Here comes the punting unit. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the gun, give on the inside. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. On the move. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to pass. It's Brosmer. Got his man down the middle. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. The Golden Gophers line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Fair catch called for and made. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Grabs it in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover. Pick up the first. Looking to throw on third. Lost one deep down the right side. And he's got it inside the 25. What a play to get it inside the red zone. And they are set up at the 17. I love when you back the defense off of you. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more conservative, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. They want to run it left here. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. On second down, they'll take to the air. Got it behind the line. It's Harden. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Third down coming up. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his 10. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. The give is to Taylor. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll try the run. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to run for it. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And the Golden Gophers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. To the air. It's Garbers. And he can't connect on the throw. It's incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long. Try to convert through the air. It's caught. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. That's really got to make this offensive coordinator feel good column plays. You get a completion on third down early in the game, and he should be having a lot of confidence now moving forward in this game column plays. The Bruins moving quickly to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attack. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. Hand off from the gun. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? And the Bruins are on the move. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting first position. The Bruins have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Takes the handoff. It's Harden. Can't get him to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. The extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Just gets it to the 28, pick up of one. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Back to throw, it's Grosmer. Let's it fly! Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Taylor has it. Running with power. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Wide out in motion. From the gun, the running back has it. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And now on third down after that last run. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Thrust that arm out. The Golden Gophers get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes the catch. It's Glenn. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. From the 30-yard line on first down. He's looking to throw it. Find his man down the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Hand off to the single back. Got some room. Hand to the goal line. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Minnesota. Man, these ball carriers, they've got a lot of ability in the open field. Their ability to make people miss, but also show off the speed. You saw all of that on that play. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. They put together an 81-yard drive, and he finished it with a scintillating 28-yarder to the house. He'll bring it out. It's Jones. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. This drive opens up at the 23-yard line. They'll start this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle. It's Sturdivant. And they'll move the chains and a good way to wrap up the first quarter. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Perfect play call for that big gain to open the drive. Now here they come on first and ten. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Finds a man on the left. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. More precision throws from this Bruin quarterback, much like a Rick Neuheisel used to play. Just pinpoint accurate. Put the ball right where you want to. You think about Troy Aikman. You think about some of those other great names in UCLA history. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. Used the play fake. Now to throw. And he's got it inside the 10. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seven. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly because this has been way too easy. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Going for six. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins! 
That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking. You play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And when you do, peek in the backfield. And you lose the big field. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost the base. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I gotta make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I gotta hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He'll throw it. Can't make the connection in the defense. Putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. And the Golden Gophers will punt it away on fourth down. Makes a move. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. A first down for the offense. He's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the misconnection, it's second down. To the air, it's Garbers. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Got his man on the right. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives live? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de do. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. We'll get some water and so Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Looking to move it through the air. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Hand off from the shotgun. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Nine yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Just feeds the running back. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give is to Taylor. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, he'll fire. Complete to the right. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Out of the gun. The running back has it. It's a fumble. Oh, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Second down after the offense recovered its own fumble. They'll run play action. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down and run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Looking for a man. It's Brosmer. He's going to fire deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And the field goal unit is on the field. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. UCLA will go back to work on offense. 
They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. The Bruins want to move quickly. They'll leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. And the Bruins will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And the returner will be knocked down. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hauls it in, looking for space. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. They'll snap the ball. First play of the drive coming from their own 24. The gift to the back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Bruins decide to punt it away. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive. Oh, it's out! Defense grabs it, and they're going the other way. And I absolutely love the option, but this is part of it, right? The quarterback has to make a lot of reads really quickly and then carry the football and take care of that thing. So I think, you know, the fumble was caused there. We don't know why, but this is part of the option risk you run by running. Line gets set, first down. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. The pull and throw off the RPO. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? They'll try to bully their way for the first. The Bruins get it past the sticks. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Use the play fake, now to throw. Got his man downfield. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a groove. And 
he'll be stopped for no gain. Still sitting at the three-yard line. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. They'll go to the fullback. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, UCLA! And you love giving it to the big boy right near the goal line. Plowing ahead. You know he's going to put two hands on the football, lower his shoulder. Second and goal. You don't need third and goal, thanks to the big fella. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays and close to deal with a three-yard touchdown run. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops for and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Fires to the big fella. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness. They're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. He'll try to feel the butt and see if he can give his offense better field position. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. On the run, it's Harden. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And the Bruins in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Garbers. He's looking deep. Makes a catch of the 20. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. They keep count of their number of explosive plays, and that last one has them set up first and 10 at the 19. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He'll take a shot. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with a score. Line getting set on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Forced out of the pocket. The quarterback scrambled around with the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Getting some heat. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Good disciplined defense on that play. It's third and long, right? You're not going to bite on a play fake. Nobody's going for that. Everyone knows it's a passing situation. They use their speed to get to the QB. The Bruins will punt this one away. He'll try to really get into this one. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. They're going to get him for a safety. Tried to make something out of nothing and still got stuck for the two. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field. They got a chance to put points on the board and they do. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. 
on the return. It's Sturdivant. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and the defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. They've got the screen set up. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Here comes the offense on second down. Setting up the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Timeout, UCLA. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Unloads to the wideout. Working the middle. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. He's got it on the run. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Just enough time to get off one more snap. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. They make the stop on the return and that is priority one. You don't want some big return to give up a cheap touchdown on the final play of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Pasadena than you do? A captivating game so far. And a first half that's been dominated by this special teams unit. How often do we say that? But it's a dynamite group who understands football isn't just about offense and defense. And what they've done through two quarters is help tilt the scales of this game. What adjustments the other sides can make is going to go a long way in determining who wins this game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in college football heaven, the Rose Bowl. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up the first down. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. You can become a star making efficient plays and getting first down, sort of like a Mark Harmon kind of way to play quarterback for the Bruins. And, and then you become a big star. And, and in Hollywood, what a town to do it. Obviously, create some excitement, create some momentum, put a Rose Bowl, just do big things in UCLA. Quarterback on the keeper. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Shows him the stiff arm. Knocked down for the tackle. They want to get this defense on its heels. Running back goes in motion. The give out of the gun. Shakes off the defender. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. The Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs.
keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. He's going to throw deep right side. And the DB right with him to knock it away. And now on second down for this offense. Back to pass, it's Garbers. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Gives it to the back on the draw. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Bruins send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Minnesota has it back and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Going up top. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. You look to be backed up, and then suddenly you're not. Big play has them across the 50, and they'll have it first and 10. From the gun, running back on the move. Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Give to the running back. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He'll do it himself. And the Golden Gophers will keep this drive going. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Taylor has it. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll try it over the left side. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll run it. It's Taylor. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. He'll pull it on the read. The Bruins' third down defense just doesn't come through. It's first and ten from the 13. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Zone. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Blasted as he lets it go. Ball in the air, intercepted! And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Well, the defense was able to get to the QB, and I think that's what really creates the interception. Because of the pressure and because of the hit on the quarterback, it affected the velocity, it affected the accuracy of the throw. The defense comes away with a huge takeaway. And now this offense will take the field again. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Finds his man. It's Glenn. Tight windows. No problem to grab the tackle. And it's first down in the red zone at the 10. Now on the move. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. Touchdown, Minnesota! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. After the touchdown, if they could get this two, we'll have a tie ball game. Back to throw. It's Brosmer. He's got it for the two, and we're all tied up. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get right away. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. Free snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Right down the middle. Finds a tight end down the gut. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to 27. And the Bruins want to pick up the tempo. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The Bruins come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. Looking for a man. It's Garbers. Caught near the sideline. He'll pick up a few before going out of bounds. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, going up top. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. 
And it's right down the boulevard. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. kick it off after that last drive put a three spot on the board and now the defense will try to shut him down on the move from inside is five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. the minnesota offense is headed back onto the field jesse a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. The Golden Gophers get enough to move the chains. This offense is feeling itself right now, and momentum's coming along with them. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Using the spin move. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. And the Golden Gophers look to keep this drive humming. Running back searching for a hole. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wants to throw. It's Brosmer. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. They're looking for an advantage to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll line up for a second down play. Wide receiver shows motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've got it down to the 32. First and ten coming. To the ground. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. They'll put the tight end in motion. Now the play fake. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there. Incomplete. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Safe completion on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. It's good. And guys, after that field goal, brand new ball game all tied up. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. He had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And the Bruins are in the hurry up.
Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Caught behind the line. It's Harden. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Give to the back. Still on his feet at the 45. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Grabbed behind the line, it's Harden. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. And nice answer by this defense. You give up a big play, you go take a big play. Sometimes you get down on yourselves and one play turns to two. Nice job by this defense getting a sack, creating some momentum. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It would be nice to pick up a few yards on third down because from here, it's a 57-yard attempt. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And that is no good. And in the final quarter of regulation, we remain tied. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Fires to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. On third down, he drops to throw. Moving away from pressure. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of hands. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Sixth play of the drive coming up. He's back to throw on second down. Finds his big tight end. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done.
the Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And it's blocked. What a huge play. And every week you study this and you know which side you're going to attack and who you want to attack. And you can tell they wanted to attack the right side. Brought all the guys from that direction. Sneak through a little crack. Come in. Get their hands on the punt and get the big ball. And there was some eye contact going on there on that last play. Press man coverage. The receiver was looking at his guy like, please throw this up for me. You know we got this one. I'm going to beat this guy at the line of scrimmage and make a play. Quarterback, there was no doubt where he was going with it. That's just two guys being on the same page. Back to pass. It's Garvers. He makes a grab. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. He's looking for an open man on second down. Just missed his man. Gave him just a little too much. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Takes a hit as he fires. Touchdown, Bruins! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Nice job by the quarterback, hanging in the pocket, hanging in there. He knew he was going to take a lick. He took the lick, delivered a strike, and got the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They go to the draw. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And the Golden Gophers will send out the punt unit. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. First play of the drive comes from the 41. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Complete downfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Bruins want to crank the tempo. Quarterback on the keeper. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off play action. Throws to the wide out. It's caught downfield. Makes the grab over the defense and they are threatening now down at the 15. Got his man quickly. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. He'll do it himself. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. 
Wants to throw on third down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Spreads the uprights, it's good. And that lead grows even bigger. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on third down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the left. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. To the air on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll just keep slinging it. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. The Golden Gophers are moving quickly down the field. It's a draw, and they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. Makes the grab just what they were looking for and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down he wants to throw fires to the wide out receiver wasn't ready for the throw incomplete after the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up they'll try it again on second down he's looking to throw Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. And the Bruins will hustle to the line. Late in football games, I have a plan. I'm going to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. They'll run the option. He just has a nose for those little crevices to be able to find space, and he picks up the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football, so the quarterback says, you know what, I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. 
Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back, you can see. Gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yard, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through him. The Bruins will have it first and ten. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. A little release to the back. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the Bruins will call on their punt team. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Offense set on first down. He's looking to throw it. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Taylor. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He makes a catch. And he breaks into the open. And he'll get out of bounds. It's a first down there in plus territory and now threatening to get the score. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. One big play can really flip the script of a drive. It's first and 10 from just outside the 30. He wants to throw it again. Caught in the backfield, it's Taylor. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Dialing up a second down pass play. And he can't find anyone open and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free. And fourth down is coming up. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Unleashes one deep. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. 